Hello guys, Janos here and welcome to Excess Heroes and today it's time to review Fate Core Red Mary yet again cause she has just managed to receive her Core Reverse upgrade and definitely she has got some new skill sets and let's see if she's gonna be of any help to the current meta continents or not. Looking into her artworks, she definitely looks pretty much as same as before but still she looks stunning <laughs> with that amazing figure right over here, pretty thick unit and definitely a wifey material in my opinion. Looking into the skill information right over here, Seabird and Arrest Comp has been added to the passive skill effect known as the focus fire 2. Passive effect it says afflicts target with focus fire mark and decreases dodge block for one round on basic attack which I would say is really great for the Javanese tenure battles because if you manage to decrease the dodge block effect of your opponent definitely it's gonna be a really great help to you guys to take them down real fast because when they dodge or block they mitigate damage like massively if they are gonna be dodging your attack zero damage taken so it's definitely gonna piss you off Gain mana 1 mana when a marked target dies, which is definitely gonna be great because she really needs a lot of mana and gain mana effect is really great help to her. A Dragon Knight Blessing right over here is gonna allow her to deal bonus damage against the Holy Dragon and if you are gonna be using in your team, especially in the battle against Frost Element Dragon, at that time she's gonna be decreasing the Enhanced Dragon Fang effect by 20% which is gonna be a really great help in the overall sustainability and the durability of your entire team in that battle because that stupid dragon is really powerful indeed so with this effect definitely you have got some really good chance to score some really high points in the holy dragon ground so that you can score a lot of relic of dragon dynasty Next is going to be Pirate's Pride. Grand self with Pirate's Pride mark, which allows protection from death for one time. Just like Triangle Mark effect from the Bathory, protection from, protection from death for one time. And as long as Pirate's Pride is with her, what's going to happen is that like, she's going to be granted skill damage immunity. Meaning like, she will not be taking any kind of damage whatsoever from any kind of active skill effects. She's only going to be taking damage from the basic attack only. I mean like that is not really that common thing out there in the game unless you force your opponents to use the basic attack which is actually going to be the case that's going to be happening in her team because our Fate Core Raid Mary belongs to North 1 Frosted team and well it really revolves around the Fate Core Shofragan and Fate Core Valentina who are really going to be making it sure that the opponents are just going to be resorting to their basic attack skill right? <laughs> oh man! Alright so this thing right over here Oh man, like it's it's like it's it's a really great stuff, but when you are gonna be using her in the North One Frosted team where she belongs, it kind of loses a little bit of its effectivity. <laughs> okay, so yeah, that's it, guys. And now let's look into the next uh, effect, new effect, guys, it's known as Seabird. Okay. Special effect it says removes all balls from the target when a, a skill attack hits one time per round, which is definitely awesome. She even has got AoE skill, so this thing right over here can actually be utilized real good. Okay, being able to remove all the balls from the target is definitely awesome, guys. Because because uh, just recently we have actually managed to witness a lot of core reverse upgrade, right? With which so many characters have actually managed to receive tons of buffs in their skill list, and being able to nullify the balls is definitely a great stuff right over here guys really awesome stuff next is gonna be the arrest complete a status effect afflicts the target with freeze for five turns if the enemy's health is at 50% which I would say is pretty easy to fulfill or evolve when a skill attack hits one time per round which I would say is really great guys so uh, one thing is that like our fed core win mirror is pretty fast in it so she can actually freeze the opponents real good right away <laughs> okay so that means like it will be much easier for your fed crow valentina to catch up later on don't you guys think so and when your fed crow valentina uses her skill then pretty much it's a game over for the opponent unless your opponent is so good at stalling <laughs> all right that's a different case scenario right anyways that's it definitely it's gonna be a really great help out there while you are trying to set up your fed crow valentina to rip off all the mana from your opponents because when you freeze your opponents, pretty much your opponents are like stunned. They will not be able to use their turn whatsoever. They are going to be just frozen and they are just going to be like losing their turns right away whenever it's going to be their turn. So it's going to be much easier for your Fitko Valentina to actually come up with a really good, you know, like 
mana burn okay so yeah there we go guys next is gonna be ultimatum right over here skill is not changed okay first active skill required mana just two mana which i would say is pretty easier to spam most of the time ultimatum guys effect a, a single target deals 187 percent damage to one enemy which i would say it's pretty good not so good like it's pretty fair average over the over time effect afflict the target with the frostbite and dealing 115 percent damage uh, every turn for two turns which i would say is uh all right pretty good enough but if you're actually gonna be using this skill against the first guardian units like fed guardian yeah uh, things are not actually gonna look good okay because it actually gonna improve the dragon blood effect and the dragon wrath and the dragon skills shields are just gonna be even much stronger so yeah that is it guys uh next is gonna be the total bombardment skill is not changed okay right over here total bombardment it says required mana five mana okay now that is actually pretty problematic in her stuff first of all guys she is a very fast unit and she really need her second active skill because it's an area attack deals 124 percent piercing damage on all enemies okay so she's gonna be attacking all the enemies and she's gonna be um like applying this effect on all the enemies out there removing all the buff and then like freezing the opponents like for five turns yeah that's really good indeed like both of her new skill sets really will take a lot of advantage if she is going to be using her aoe attack but right away in her fast round things could not actually be really that good because five mana requirement that's really hard to fulfill okay unless you have fetra any in your team and definitely you are not going to be using fetra any in your um north one for us to team right so yeah there we go guys and that is pretty sad right over here deals 124 percent piercing damage to all enemies over time effect afflicts the target of the frost by dealing 43 percent damage every turn for four turns and you gotta be really really careful indeed because this is a dot damage and that's for four turns and it can really really amplify the dragon blood mark effect real real hard and it can be really hard to control your opponents like yes you might actually be able to really mana burn them but the dragon wrath and the dragon scale can actually be a really big problem to you guys okay so yeah that is also a condition out there all right so yeah that is it and uh that's it guys i would say the new um like passive skill effects that has been added to our skill sets it's definitely amazing really good indeed because like being able to remove all the buff from the target is really awesome uh provided that very recently we have actually managed to witness a lot of buff that is being added in the past uh, the skill effects of our so many other hero units so definitely it's going to be quite good out there indeed and being able to freeze for five turns the opponents it's going to be really great help for your fate Girl valentina to catch up and then like do the rest of her thing right away because like our north one frosty team is also known as the ticking time bomb and the time is the key of essence right and right over here guys the freeze effect is definitely gonna be buying you a lot of time so that you can set it up real good so yeah that's it definitely she is a very interesting unit that you can definitely use or abuse in the north one frosty team but with that five mana requirement right over here in her second active skill things can be quite hard so still like we gotta really test and try her out real good okay though she has a really good potential man this five mana requirement right over here it's pretty much a very problematic stuff guys what do you guys think let me know down in the comment section below and well the main question being should you be really summoning for her and the answer is simply no because she is a black fit hero unit and definitely she is not going to change the current meta like by massive terms she's she cannot even be counted as a soft meta unit okay she's pretty much helpful and depending upon the situation she can be replaced easily or you know like she can be used or she can also be thrown away as well because we already have got a very good strong not one frosted team that's already been in effect okay so yeah that said who is she actually going to substitute that is also the another problem out there so guys that said no need to summon for her no need to really go for her uh, next thing is that like in due process we will also be able to receive a lot of fed curricular tickets black fed curricular tickets thanks to a lot of events so especially if you're a beginner guys just have some patience and you will be able to receive a lot of black fit here units in no time and she is not an exception as well okay so yeah there we go see you are definitely going to be getting her one day or another just like that
okay so yeah there you go anyways now let's look in the period right over here for this um, you know like exclusive weapon right of you guys and I would say it's totally a scam don't fall for it don't try to summon for it unless you are well then go for it like it's, it's totally up to you this actually does not provide any kind of extra amazing boost to your character uh, overall the stats or like overall stuff it's pretty much same as that the normal faded here a weapon it's just for the cost and purpose guys so you can just piss on it Alright, so yeah, that is it guys, pretty much a scam. And yeah, there we go. So what do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section below. And that's it, please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. And see you guys in the next video.